so just open your file and we will make something like this hide that one now go to the top view and then add a cylinder vertex should be 6 then go to the front view and then turn on your x-ray mode and delete this words then move them along the z axis then insert these faces give the proper insert amount thickness amount and then delete it then add array modifier and increase the count then turn on that merge option and then apply that array modifier after that go to the edit mode and shift D to duplicate make sure you turn on your snapping mode and change it to the vertex and then just duplicate it and move, the, move it along the y axis now you need to match the position and turn on your auto, uh, auto merge option there and just move your uh, faces selected faces so you can merge them easily you can see I have merged these faces all mesh together then add one more add a, add a modifier and this time also give its proper position along the y axis and then turn on that merge option and just match the factor amount so you can match the mesh match its position so just increase or decrease the factor amount according to your mesh so you can connect them together so now you can increase the count then add one more array modifier and this array modifier will follow the curve so that's why just one more time you need to match the factor and this time you need to increase or decrease the x axis factor so you can match the modifier match the mesh make sure you turn on that merge option in the array modifier so now you can increase the count so this array modifier this mesh follow curve so add a curve circle and then scale it like this and then rotate it into the 90 degree and then delete your mesh that grid and then add a curve modifier for that make change it to the center and then add a curve modifier and select that circle bezier circle and choose the proper axis so in this case y axis will work proper then now you need to increase the count in the array modifier so just increase the count and then select that the bezier circle and then adjust the scale so you can that's why you need to scale the circle bezier circle so you can connect them together now it's look fine then add a weld modifier together so that's why the weld modifier is important and then add a solidify modifier to give the thickness give the proper thickness in the solidify modifier so you will your mesh will get a 3D form then add a bevel modifier change it to the angle and geometry should be R so you will get a cool result 
on your mesh. So you can see easily we have created this grid hexagonal grid then add one more cylinder here and vertex should be 20, 32 or 24 then scale it, uh, rotate it into the 90 degree and then scale it it should be larger than then our grid so just increase the scale then select the faces and insert delete these faces and then select the edges and you can use the bridge edge loop right click and bridge edge loop something like this you will get then add one loop cut here or you can just scale it down along the y axis to make the ring and just fix this ring at its right position at the both end of the grid try to hide the outer edge of that grid then add a subdivision surface modifier on that and then add a supportive loop cuts which will help obtain the shape of the geometry shape of the mesh then shift D to duplicate and then fix this ring on the another side of the grid now you can see it should look pretty well decent easily we have modeled this mesh and that's fine decent thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care